So welcome to the first edition of the newsletter for the BRC for this year. I mean, last year was an extraordinary year. So many high profile impacts emerging from our work and we hope this year will be equally successful. And in fact, we got off to a pretty impressive start. I was excited to see the work um, being undertaken here, looking at how the lung heals after smokers stop smoking and some exciting data demonstrating that the new epithelial cells that are relining the surface of the lung appear to be devoid of the mutations that are cancer causing and they look like healthy cells. So this is very exciting because it's a scientific discovery that provides the impetus to encourage people to top, stop smoking at any age because of the potential uh, benefits that will bring. In addition, we saw some exciting research presented from the London Marathon, where uh, our cardiovascular teams had been studying patients before and after the intensive training for the marathon to look at the effects of intensive training on the cardiovascular system and demonstrated some quite striking and interesting benefits in terms of reducing the stiffness of arteries. And this coincided with a reduction in blood pressure, both of which have long term benefits for patients and so this is good evidence that that kind of training may actually yield benefits way beyond the time that the person actually managed to achieve in completing the marathon itself. Building on the cancer theme we saw some really exciting work from Carl Peggs and his group looking again at immune mechanisms that might be manipulated to develop new treatments for cancer. And this is clearly a major emerging theme in the uh, fight against uh, many cancers and it promises to be an exciting area of development and it's good to see that our university here at UCL and our hospital at UCLH are at the forefront of work in that area. Of course data science is never far from the news and uh, I think we're really beginning to coalesce our expertise both clinical and scientific around our data science theme which will be important in our next BRC bid and I was also pleased to announce early this year that we had joined the HDR UK Data Alliance. So this alliance brings together many of the big hospital and university organizations that hold data, really identifies the kind of data we hold, and is really a portent to future collaboration and use of data across a large number of organizations. Lastly, um, I just wanted to say a word <clears throat> about how things are going to evolve this year. On April the 27th, uh, we're putting together a really exciting lineup for our annual BRC Open Day at the Wellcome Trust, uh, which will be presenting some of the highlights of our research that's uh, already been undertaken over the past few years, and looking forward to this critical next 12 months during which we'll be developing the strategy for our next BRC bid which no doubt will need to be submitted sometime in the early part of next year. So it's not long away and I think we really do as an organisation and a group need to be thinking about the really big challenges that we face to try and take forward uh, in our next five years of a BRC where the focus has to be on impactful translation.